Hi, and thanks for tuning in to a Fly TV video. This is going to show you my new 280 amp hour lithium battery project. Just finished building her today. Took me about two and a half hours to build. So let's open up this battery box and see what's inside. All right, so here we have four EVE. That's the name of the battery company, EVE Cells. Each one is 3.2 volts. When you run them in series, as I have done here, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, that makes 12.8 volts. Now you'll see to protect these lithium iron phosphate cells, and by the way, these are 280 amp hour. To protect them, I have the DALI BMS system. That is a battery management system that makes sure the cells are balanced. They don't overcharge, undercharge. It has temperature protection, everything. I have to glue that to the outside. So it comes off of your negative line. I also have a 250 amp breaker on the low side. More or less, it's a power switch. And then coming off. Oh. Cell two positive to cell three negative. Coming off, we have zero gauge wire. I have a little too much, shouldn't be more than six feet, and I've got 10 feet, and I have it running in to two Anderson connectors. So here's my zero gauge going into an Anderson, and then funkiness coming out on the other side of the Anderson. I have number six wire, and I have two hots and two grounds, because the Canadian Tire Eliminator 3000 watt inverter, which is not 3000 watts. I've tested it. It's more like 1500 to 2000 at best. But for some silly reason, they want you to connect two positives, two negatives, because I guess it's two 1500 watt inverters put together. Maybe. I honestly do not know. So anyways, that's what I've got going there. I built this all today. Now, 280 amp hours of lithium power would be if you had a, a truck, say you were driving a Ford F-150 and it had a heavy duty battery in it, that battery would be probably around 90 to 100 amp hours. So this would be equal to almost three heavy-duty batteries or three RV grade batteries. That's how much you get out of lithium. Now the other great thing about lithium is you can take these down to one percent. You can take it down to zero percent, although the BMS will not let it, the way I have it programmed, go below two percent is where I cut it off. And you can use all the battery power right down to that two percent and then charge it back up which i will be doing by solar uh, my 200 watt solar panel on the roof of the van and when you have a regular battery uh, lead acid or even agm glass mat that you'll find in a lot of newer vehicles you don't dare really you don't dare take it down more than 50 percent and even if you do that too many times it will destroy that battery rather quickly uh a battery like that an agm if you took it down to 50 percent you'd get maybe 300 full cycles out of it before it needed to be replaced with this you can take this down to say one or two percent probably about five thousand cycles before you'll start to see major cell degradation. So pretty much that's what I did. That's today's project. By the way, this is all going in to the van. So you will see the new channel coming up soon. Captain Fantastic and the Black Dirt Dog. That's right. Captain Fantastic and the Black Dirt Dog will be coming to you soon on the van build. Got lots of videos showing the van build and till then everybody take care
there again if you'd like to see how i did this uh there's a couple tricks to setting up your bms i'll just go over it real quick the area of the leads uh the black one which will be on one end of your clip goes to your main negative and then you start counting from left to right after the black you'll see black one two three four because this has four cells it goes to one whoops one two three four and it has to be in that order for it to be able to do its job balancing cells and stuff correctly so also uh i'm a little maybe underpowered i've got 150 amp uh bms technically this should have had a 200 or even a 250 amp but because i'm using a mickey mouse inverter uh and i'm not going to be using anything hardcore i did run a test on this uh eliminator inverter it will not run a full-size keurig it will run a baby keurig uh, it will run a jigsaw and an electric power drill and it will run a microwave so i ran a 1500 watt microwave and it ran for 30 seconds no problem at all so it just doesn't like heaters anything with a really heavy element uh for some reason i don't know now a quality 3000 watt inverter definitely will run whatever you want it to run uh i have the renogy 3000 watt inverter in my boat and it will run heaters microwave tvs it, it will run absolutely everything all right i'm signing off and stella bella boo says see you all later alligator and we'll catch you on the next one bye now